Chicago guitarist and guitar teacher. If you want the uh, transcription that I'm going to do for this song, Mr. Mustache, just hit me up at my email address at the top of the page. All right, so Mr. Mustache, we're doing more from Bleach. Um, let's look at this main riff here. So for this one, we're in standard tuning, um, and we're in the key of G. So I'll play the first measure of the guitar part that we're going to be working at uh, with. I'll, I'll just leave it a few times slowly here. So it's it's very chromatic. So the first two notes are G and B. Then we're going to come down chromatically from our G note. Now the chromaticism is going to go back towards the G, so the last two notes are going to be F to F sharp. So again, slowly. All right. Now the second measure of the riff is exactly the same except for one thing. So on the end of one, we're going to play a B flat instead of a B natural. So the second measure is this. So to put those two bars together, all right. So that's the main riff. In that, um, we're going to do that four times, and then the second riff comes in, which goes like this. So it's just a one-bar thing that repeats. So what we're going to do is a G5 power chord, two strums um, in quarter notes, and then we're going to do some palm muted eighth notes. So that's E, F, and then two F sharp notes. All right, so we're going to do that four times. Then the verse starts. Okay, so for the verse, what we're going to do is we're going to play this riff eight times. And then we're going to do the... Um, like so. And then we're basically, the verse section repeats again. So again, we have eight times on that figure. And then again, the... That riff. All right, so now we're into um, what I'm going to call uh, the, the chorus part. So I'll, I'll play that for you now and then break it down. It goes like this. So that's what I'm going to go with for here. Um, so the, the first measure, let's talk about that. We have this. Like that. So we're starting with a B5 power chord, three strings. So we're playing a quarter note on beat one. And then we're going to play the open A string going into a C5 power chord. Now on the, the last eighth note of the measure, he's just playing the low E string, so. Like that. Then we have this. So that's one hand, two hands, and then we wax down chromatically. And again, low E note on um, the final eighth note of the measure. So let's put the, those two bars together. And then this time around, he does this. So it's one and two and three. And then we repeat. All 
So this time, instead of just playing the, the G with the stop, um, what we do is this. So that's just one and two and three, four. And on beat four, we're going up to a G sharp five power chord. And that's going to transition us into what I'm gonna call the bridge. All right, so let's look at that bridge part. It goes like this. Uh, all right, so what we're doing here is um, we're going up to the two chord of in relation to G, so an A5 chord. So that's the rhythm there, it's one and two and, and four and. We've got a, a mute there on beat two. Um, and again, on the when he's changing chords, the low E serves as kind of like a transitional note, so. Like that. So the next chords are C5, and the rhythm is so one and two and and four and. Then we're going to come up to an E flat five, and we're going to play consistent eighth notes. So let's look at that riff again. All right, so slowly. Now, the, what happens next is um, a variation on this. Um, so essentially what happens is um, we have, it's, it's like uh, some chromaticism is, is filled into the riff. So it goes like this, I'll play it slowly. So at tempo. Um, so really, that part is the same, and then what he's doing is on the end of three, coming down to an A-flat chord, to G, to the open E. Now with the E-flat five chord here on uh, the variation, he's just doing one and two and three and four. Four instead of playing the four and, which gives him time to go back to the, um, move his left hand to transition back to the. So essentially, um, I notated this as uh, da senio. So um, go back to where the guitar part entered, basically. And so for this time, we're, we're just going to play that main riff twice instead of four times. So, um, and then, you know, we're, we're back into this riff. All right, so the verse part repeats again, the chorus part repeats again, and then we're to a second bridge. Now this second bridge is a little bit longer. Um, so what happens, the second bridge, is um, we, we play the chromatic variation um, a few extra times. So that's, that's really the only difference there. Um, and the last time I should mention, too, that they play the chromatic variation thing, the rhythm's a little bit different. He plays one, two, and three. And then on beat floor four, he slides out of that E chord, uh, E flat chord. So like this. Like that. Um, and then we're back to the main riff for the outro. So the main riff is played um, a total of six times here. And then what they do is they drop the tempo down to, I would say it's, it's roughly around like 130-ish if you wanna clock it out on a metronome. So to give you an example of kind of how this tempo drop goes from the, the regular tempo it sounds like this.
So that's how the song ends. There's just a big, you know, fermata on the final G5 chord. So the last time the riff is played there, um, instead of just playing single notes on the F to F sharp, he plays two string power chords. So. <laughs> the final G5 chord. So that's really all there is to, to Mr. Mustache, just, uh, you know, three or four really, really effective riffs. So <laughs> kind of a, a Kurt Cobain trademark, you know. Um, string together four awesome riffs, put, put a great melody to it, and success. So like I said, if anybody wants my transcription of this, get a hold of me, or if you want private lessons, get a hold of me. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Matt Brown. I've got Plenty more from Nirvana's Bleach, so stay tuned.